Nearly 100 years ago, Wolbachia bacteria were discovered in the reproductive tissues of mosquitoes. They were considered an obscure bacterium, perhaps in a few insect species. We now know that these bacteria are in fact one of the great pandemics in the history of life, infecting millions and millions of insect species, about 40% of them. In addition, Wolbachia can prevent pathogenic viruses such as dengue virus and Zika virus from replicating in mosquito hosts. This combination of infertility and RNA virus inhibition are in the vanguard of control efforts to suppress mosquito population. So what Emily is doing here, she's uh, looking at a Drosophila fly that is one of the genetic models we used in our, in our study. And we use this model because Wolbachia live inside the testes, which is what Emily is pulling out by dissecting out the back end of the fly here. And she's using the tweezers to separate out these testes. What Emily is showing us here are uh, pairs of testes where Wolbachia bacteria normally infect and reside. And this is where Wolbachia causes an infertility called cytoplasmic incompatibility. One of the advantages of using these bacteria to control insects is that it's a more natural way to control them. Instead of insecticides that have off-target effects on other insects or even on fruits and vegetables, Wolbachia naturally occurs in insects. And therefore, using these bacteria to control insects is simply a natural way to do it.